Alright, hey, what's up, guys? So, um, I know I haven't made a video in, like, a long time. But, um, that's only because I've been working, like, non-stop and taking care of the snakes and everything. And, um, also my camcorder isn't able to sync up to Windows Live Movie Maker, so I want the best videos possible, so I haven't gotten that fixed, so until that happens, or if it does, um, I'm just gonna be using my iPhone. Hopefully it works well enough. Um, but, yeah, this, um, will just be a quick update about what I've gotten, um, and I'll give you, like, the big news and stuff at the end. So, alright, uh, let's get started. Alright, over here in the closet is my Grey Banded King Snake. He's right up in here, actually, right now, because I am soaking him for mites. I can't really seem to get rid of him. But, um, I'm getting, like, two balls of pre Preventamite, um, within the next week or two, so. Right, not, until then, I'm just soaking him. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah. <clears throat> Let's move on. Alright, and over here is the big new cages I got that are really really expensive but I got for really really cheap these are go, go for like 1800 brand new I got for 200 off Craigslist um yeah it came with three lights with it um it came with strip lights but I had rats escape and chew the cords so yeah but it came with yeah this whole thing for 200 bucks and it's only a little bit dirty like on the cages and stuff right there but yeah I don't really care about that for 200 bucks I'll take it but uh yeah so let's move on to the animals inside the cages alright so in here are my albino nelson's milk snakes they're kind of just sitting there alright over here is D the Female Bane and Molly King, uh, corn snake. And her little setup. And over here is my Florida King Snake female, who is a peanut butter hit for Annery. Who just had two babies. Uh, I just had uh, two babies from her. So. <coughs> Alright, down here are my. Bread light adult carpet python pairs. I'm not sure which one's the male and which one's the female. They weren't sex for me when I got them. They were just sold as a pair. So I decided to get them. Hopefully in hopes of breeding them. But yeah. So then over here is my blood python female. She's just a uh, normal. But I still like her. So, yeah. Alright, and up here on top of the cages is Quickie, my first ever snake ever. Who actually lived. He's still doing really well. Um, yeah. Alright. And for another update, up here are six baby ball pythons that I actually hatched myself. My first ever clutch of... Um, eggs ever that actually hatched. I've hatched, I mean, I've produced eggs in the past couple of years, but I've gotten none of them to hatch. There were these eggs down here, as you guys know, who follow me, so. But, uh, yeah, it was a pastel to a normal. I got three pastels and three normals out of it, so. Yeah, there's pastels in the front right here. So, I'll be selling them soon. Alright, and on to the rack right here. I have Bojangles, the mother of the clutch. Who, I guess, is still wrapping her water dish. What do you think? You're gonna double clutch or something? I don't think so. <laughs> She's been only eating small rats, so. Uh, ever since she laid her eggs. But, uh, yeah, here's a adult. I believe to be female. Amel corn snake. A annery. Female. 
Here's that's a snake I'm never gonna sell unless I unless I absolutely have to. My cream sickle male. Alright, here is my albino pine snakes. Well here's one of them. I got these as a pair too, but once again they weren't sex for me, so Yeah. Alright, get back in there. Alright, and here's the other. Looking good. I like them because they remind me of albino western diamondbacks. And that's my favorite venomous snake there is. And the first one I ever planned to get once I had the opportunity. So, yeah. These will do for now. Alright. And moving up over here, I have all the big snakes over here. I tried to have them all locking up and stuff. But yeah. Alright, so up in here is my normal female, one of them. She's doing good. You may ask why some of the, my snakes I don't use wire dishes for. Um, it's mostly because a lot of them like to take a shit in their water dish, so I usually just, yeah, every day soak them and let them run around the tub for a little bit. And that seems to work out better, so. Alright, and then... Up in here is the Florida King Snake, who is the same thing, peanut butter head for Annery. Alright, and down here is the Annery Motley female corn snake. It's back there. And then right here is the new other snake I just got, like a week ago or two. It's a normal head albino who has been proven female. Um, I've seen the babies myself. Cause I kind of know the guy while I followed him on YouTube and stuff, but um, he, I have a clutch of seven eggs. He said he produced three albinos, so I'll definitely be uh, breeding this female this year. Don't know to what though. I might do a head pied, but not really good odds there. But we'll see. Cause I would really like to make a uh, albino pied. So, um, yeah, I'll see where that goes. She hasn't been bred this past season, so she's all ready to go and beefed up. He said that she's a little over 2,000 grand, but I think she's way, uh, bigger than that. She, I think she's like almost 3,000. I don't know. But anyway, yeah. So, in here is my albino uh, Burmese male, Nanners. And in there is the albino granite female. Down here is my 15, my like 14 foot uh, proven normal female berm. And there is the granite male. And one looks like they took a piss or a shit, whatever the hell that is. And then down here are the two rate ticks. Sorry if the, uh, the glass looks kind of dirty. It's like, I wipe it down every single day, try to make them look nice and everything, and they just keep getting these, like, water marks across them and everything. You know, I don't know what they are. I'm assuming it's water marks, but I have no idea. But I'm not too worried about it. Oh, what do we got here? She's really nice. So, yeah, going up here, I have my female hog nose, there's an adult, Miss Piggy, yeah, she's in there, alright, and here is my Mexican black king snake. And in these two little EB containers, I have the Florida King Snake Babies, 
two of them that actually did hatch. There they are. They're doing really well. I haven't gotten any meals in them because they just hatched like a day or two ago, so. I'm assuming they're normals, but. They're also in the shed, so I can't really see, tell. They have like brown in them and stuff, so I don't think they're anery but, or the peanut butter, so. Because peanut butters are lighter. So I'm going to take it they're just normals. But I really do not care because I actually got two clutches to hatch this year, so I'm happy about that. Because now I actually have some stuff to sell at the expos and stuff. And I have a better view of breeding and stuff. And like how to incubate the eggs better, or temperature, or whatever. So, right, and then and here's my leopard geckos. They're in the back there. So, uh, yeah. But for other news, um, I just placed my first ever rodent order online this past week. Well, I, I know you guys don't really care about that, but um, yeah, I'm expecting them to come in tomorrow. Um, what else? Oh yeah, I just picked up, I just got my um, artificial propagation license. So now I'm legally able to sell at the reptile shows and stuff in PA or anywhere. Um, so that was 150 bucks, but you gotta do what you gotta do. So, yeah. Um, yeah, other than the eggs hatching, um, that's pretty much about it. Um, I plan to have, get a couple of new ball pythons soon. Maybe a spinner blast male, juvenile. Um, you know, since obviously I've had luck with the ball pythons more than colubrids. Um, I'm going to try and do a lot of pythons this year, especially with the berms and stuff, so, yeah, um, I'll give you guys updates every once in a while about what's going on, so, um, oh yeah, and by the way, I don't know if you guys know it, but I was actually on the news, um, for snakes and stuff, because my neighbors next door don't really like them, so, they decided to call the cops and animal control on me, because I have my retic outside. It was not even full grown yet, but they were scared to come outside and instead of actually trying to learn about them or anything or me teach them, they decided to call the cops. And the cops told them that they can't do anything because there's no ordinance against it. So yeah. And then they decided to do it another time when me and all my friends were outside with um my sister and everything, holding the snakes up, you know, playing with them and stuff. And my neighbors were so scared to come, you know outside so I don't know so then animal control told them that there's nothing they can't do again and ne then they decided to call the news or whatever and the news yeah made me look good so yay for, yay for reptiles um, yeah that's basically an update um, I don't think that's, I think that's about it, so, um, yeah, like I said, I'll keep you guys posted and stuff, so, yeah, thanks for watching.